Hey guys, what's up? Boncha here. Hope you're all surviving the winter okay. Um, don't know about you, but I'm itching a ride after this uh, horrific winter. One highlight though was that I did get a new touring jacket, the Tourmaster Transition 3. My other jacket is just a thin leather one, the Tourmaster Coaster 2. It has a quilted lining, but the whole unit just feels like a wind-resistant shell. It doesn't really offer much warmth at all. But the transition is a huge world of difference. I guess you could say it's a transition. Um, I also got a nice neck gaiter, and with the Gerbing's heated gear, I've been able to sneak in a few cold weather rides. Um, the coldest I'll go, honestly, is like mid, mid to upper, thir upper 30s. Uh, I'll say 37 is about right. Um, but that being the case, I've been able to get in a uh, ride about once a month since December. Uh, I went out the day after, two days after Christmas, and I did one in January, February, and uh, I think I did, I did do one in March recently. Uh, and I thought those rides would be good enough to keep my battery somewhat alive, even though I do charge it. Um, it was still sounding really unhealthy every time I started the engine. It, it was not confident. So I did some research on some social media and some websites, and I ended up getting a very expensive and hopefully very worth it uh, lithium ion battery from ShoreEye. I opened the box, um, I'll do a, a review of it uh, as soon as I can, but um, it's like half the size of my Uwasa battery and it's also half the weight. It, it, the, the, the lithium ion, it's like the size of a couple paperback books stuck together or something. And it, what's interesting is that it does come with these uh, foam shims so that it'll fit in the battery box. So. We'll see how the install goes. Uh, I'm not really too worried, but uh, it should be an interesting project anyway. I also got some Golfer steel brake lines last fall, or right before I winterized. So um, that I'm going to have a, I'm going to take that to the shop to get them installed. I, I'd rather just have a, a pro do it than me fiddling with it and uh, hoping for the best with the brakes. If you know what I mean. Um, I also could stand a coolant change, but that's a bit of a lower priority. I, I mean, I think you're supposed to change every two years and I'm about due, but I don't know, I just feel like I'll, I'll be all right without that, but um, it'll be something to tinker with uh, when I get the chance. Uh, my travel budget this year, I, I want to do this whole video about all the groovy stuff I'm going to do this spring, but I'm hoping to do a kitchen renovation, so that's going to eat into my budget significantly, so um, that's going to limit my travels somewhat, but I am hoping to at least do a uh, hawk's nest up to Hancock, New York. It's this really scenic road that's used in a lot of uh, car commercials. I've been on it as a kid, but I, I forgot the name of the road, and I and I remembered it wrong. I thought it was, um, I don't know, something else, and I kept looking on the internet for under the wrong name, but um, anyway, so maybe some day trips or even an overnight trip to uh, Philly, uh, maybe try DC. And uh, there's also the Ramapo 500 ride that I did about two years ago that some friends of mine, uh, they want to try that again. Uh, I'm a little iffy on that, but it, it's I'm open to it, but um, it's, it's iffy. And of course, I'm going to just keep checking out uh, upstate and the Hudson Valley, so we'll see. But uh, I'm really hoping to have a good ride. Uh, I'm rather a good season this year, uh, considering the, the horrible winter. and. Um, yeah, I'm just itching to get out there. But uh, I'm sure you are too. If you have any other spring prep you'd like to share or uh, any other trips you're, you're planning on taking this year, let me know. Thanks. Uh, hope to see you on the road. Bye.